Hello and welcome back to this tutorial. In this video, we will look at how to add static files to your project. And what are these static files? Static files help you to organize your site better, like by adding CSS and um, images, a lot of different, different type of stuff in your project. Like if you want to customize your pages, like how they look, the color, and what kind of background you want to put in the application, use these static files to customize them like example if you want to add css we'll look at css as a static file and in this video we'll look at how to add that particular css in your project and start customizing your site the way you want it step number one in your project in the app directory create a folder and name it as static and inside the static files is where your CSS files, your JS files, and all other images and medias will be hosted. So for CSS, we'll create another folder and name it our CSS. And this folder will hold all our CSS documents. So when you expand static, you will see CSS is created. We'll create one more folder and name it as JS. Actually, two more folders. And the next one will be IMG. So in CSS, we will host all our CSS files in it and the pictures, all the pictures like the background pages or the background images, the logos that we will add later in the project will all be hosted in images and your JS files will be created inside JS. So in CSS, right click and add a new file. And in this file is where we're going to start creating all our CSS documents. For example, if I want to change the color of my background, I will come in here and type body. Let's save it first so that the syntax will be highlighted for us. And we'll save it as stylesheet.css. So you can start typing all CSS code right in this stylesheet.css for example if i want to change the color of my background i will type body body background color i will give it red so that it will be noticeable and save it i will go and then copy the rest of the code and we'll now see how this thing affects our web page And right at step four, we will want Django to load all the static files that it has and render it on the browser by typing this command. So we can just copy and paste it in home.html. So just before your HTML tag, right on top there is where you're gonna paste that load static files. And in HTML tags, you create a header HTML header and in HTML header paste in the following code this will now link CSS to your HTML document and the CSS file that will be loaded is the style sheet that we created in CSS folder and the file is called style sheet.css save all that and go refresh your page and see how it works refresh and you can see our home page has changed to a background color of red and this is how you add css to django and let's just add one more css code like we want to change the color of our text to white we can type um, color inside the body color we are not um, training you on CSS in this video. We're just showing you how you add it in your Django pages. But nevertheless, we will show you everything you need to rebuild this project. So the color we will specify is um, white. Save it and go refresh your homepage. And you can see welcome to this homepage is now colored white. So this is how you add CSS to Django and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to this channel in order to see 
a lot more videos coming and i appreciate your comments your views and everything else thank you so much and see you in the next video